Alrighty, so today we are going to be looking at the top 10 units on global before the Beast Gohan update. Uh, part 2 of the 9th anniversary is going to be shaking up these rankings a decent bit. Almost every single unit on this list is going to be getting pushed back a couple spots. And uh, the 9th anniversary, especially part 3, is going to be really shaking up the mix as well. So today I'm going to try and rank the top 10 best characters in the game on global at the moment. Uh, this is where things get a little bit tricky because I'm not used to mixing in TURs and LRs, but for the sake of this video, I thought that it would kind of be fun to sort of open up that can of worms and see if we really can rank uh, the top 10 best units in the game, in my opinion. Keep in mind, uh, I'm not really the most used to the global meta. I'm used to playing on JP where there's a lot of different options, but I'm trying to include myself in the global conversation with everything going on, you know, <laughs> with the 9th anniversary and the Zero to Hero and stuff like that, so... If you guys feel differently, uh, feel free to let me know down in the comment section below and just keep in mind that I am doing my best to just keep this as my opinion and we will see where it goes from there. So let's get started with my honorable mention and that is going to be the EZA for uh, STR UI Goku. I think this character is phenomenal, but I think he certainly is not um, where you'd want him to be. And one of the big issues with this character is the fact that he does not make the cut on his team in like two weeks. He's already going to be replaced on like the real superheroes team, right? Uh, not going to go into the passive too much. Uh, builds up very quickly with dodges, but stuff like that. But the issue is, is like if he gets even tagged with a normal, it usually results in the screen saying game over, right? Um, and obviously in 2024, a unit that cannot take normals at all is not really going to be in the best position to really even crack the top 10. But I think with the way things are right now on global, I don't believe there are like 20 better units than this character at the moment. But obviously that could be shaken up very quickly as soon as, you know, Cell Max, the other UI Goku comes out, uh, Topo, that whole thing, a couple super easy A's. Like this guy could easily be out of like that top 25 window uh, very quickly. But right now I have this guy at the 11th or the honorable mention spot. Let's get to number 10. And number 10, I have Zamasu. Now, Zamasu, very good character, very good leader skill, very valuable leader skill, phenomenal character, turn one, uh, you know, almost invincible on that turn one where, you know, we are seeing the damage reduction uh, reduces damage received by 40%. We are getting more than that. Uh, we are getting and it re reduces damage received by 20% for four turns for the character's entry, plus an additional damage reduction of 20% for the first turn when there is a another Realm of Gods ally on the team. So that's going to be super easy. You're going to want to make sure you're running this guy around a Realm of Gods unit, and we are talking 80% damage reduction on turn one. And then throughout the fight, he is going to be building up. We're going to have this infinite Zamasu domain. This is going to do for a very nice character that is also in, like, you know, very quality, has a very good leader skill like i said the 150 percent to extreme class i think is going to be extremely valuable to a lot of players especially when you are new but i think all in all this is probably the 10th best unit in the game uh, i really like this character but I, I can't rank him much higher than this so let's move on to number nine and that is going to be a character i actually have not had a ton of time to evaluate but i think nine is probably where i would put them solely based on the fact on who you can run on their teams and how good they are going to be on that team the super saiyans team let's think about this right we have this Carnival Goku right here, and or Carnival uh, Super Saiyan Trio. And if we pull up the Super Saiyans team, which they are leading with 200%, who is on this list? Or who is on this team that we can run, right? We can run Vegeta, 200%. Broly, 200%. Gogeta, 200%. Trunks, 200%. Future Gohan, 200%. Uh, a little polar bear in Arlington, Texas, but Carnival Goku, 200%. STR Vegito, 200%. <laughs> you know, this version of Goku Gohan right here, April Fool's Day Goku. Trunks and Broly, Super Saiyan God Goku. This is a phenomenal roster of characters, especially in the beginning of the ninth anniversary, that lead very well. And this is going to be a solid leader for them uh, with that 200%. And I think all in all with their kit, they are also very impressive. So I think the sole fact that the Super Saiyan team is as powerful as it is, and these characters are going to be a pure 200% lead for them and not also sell you very much on runs is going to be very valuable. And that is why I have them at number nine on the list. So let's move to number eight. And that is Mr. Fat Boo. Now, Fat Boo. Very good on the Majin Power team, has a Ghost Usher, um, has Guard, stacks his defense, very good wall, has a Revival. The biggest issue with this character to me is the fact that we cannot get that Revival very often with this specific character, because defensively he is so well, uh, you know, he's so well done defensively that it's very, very hard to get him to be the one that takes the KO, because... This is not a character like um, like UI Goku or uh, you know Bird Ku or something like that or any really any re re like valuable revival character where if any character on the rotation takes the KO they will revive. That is not the case with this Boo, right? This Boo needs to be the one that takes it. 
And then after Super, you know, this guy is well over a million, two million defense, especially in these longer events. We're talking two million, three million defense. And it's going to be extremely, extremely hard to take this guy out with a super attack even. And that is going to leave often lead to this guy taking 450k from a super. And then, you know, the other guy on the rotation taking 200k from a normal and dying. And um, it's oftentimes you are not going to be getting the revival because it needs to be this boo that takes the finishing blow in order to actually get the revival. So that is kind of the biggest flaw with this character to me. But the fact that he works so well on the Majid Power team, which is like a top team in the game, especially on global right now, I have no reason... Uh, to not include this guy where I have him. So, boo, I have it number eight. Let's move to number seven, and that is this version of Vegeta right here. Uh, Super Vegeta, or Super Saiyan Vegeta, the Big Bang Attack Vegeta, all that fun stuff, especially in base form. Very good character when he transforms. He becomes super, super impressive as well. I like this guy's leader skill. Super Saiyans is also, you know, 30 uh, you know, a 200% basically for Super Saiyans because most of the pure Saiyans you're running on that team are going to be under the 200%. But this guy is like a better version of the Super Saiyan trio. Maybe not in the same way that they perform hit wise, but just in terms of like the leader skill, having two of these guys is never really going to hurt you because this guy is phenomenal. So I think this guy is a little bit better than Fat Boo just because of the Saiyan link set that he has and the Saiyan team that he works on. But if you want to argue Boo over Vegeta, I would not really contest that very much. So uh, this is going to be the second to last TUR on this. So I'm sure you guys or TUR. If you haven't figured out the next one, it is going to be Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I like this guy a lot when there's a Majin Buu Saga category ally around because especially in short burst content and events like Cell Max Stage 2, you're going to be seeing this guy get a lot of value with that 90% damage reduction off the start. Offensively, defensively, he's leaving, bringing a lot to the table that I really enjoy with this character. But if you want to put him at number 6 or number 7 and move him down, I'm completely okay with that. Uh, but I really am a big fan of this character. Uh, the nullification that he has is nice, but Key Blast Supers are not that common. Uh, his active skill is decent, right? Um, his link set is good. Um, limit Breaking Form is like the only link that I don't love on this character. But again, there are some relevant Super Saiyan 3 characters in the game right now. You talk about Dragon Fist, you talk about Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks from the Int version that's slowly transforming, and then the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks Super Easy A. There's a lot of Limit Breaking Form characters right now that are not so bad, and I think that's really going to be helping this guy. You know, that early damage reduction, if you're running two of these guys for the first two turns of the fight, you essentially have an invincible slot one wall that, you know, a lot of characters in the game cannot say they are. A lot of these characters in the game need to be built up before they can really get going. And this is like the opposite, right? Where this character just, you throw him in slot one, he's ready to go. In areas like Battlefield, in areas like Red Zone, Super Battle Road, Extreme Super Battle Road, all these short form content, this is going to be a character that is a bit of a, like, a character that you don't get every day. One that is this good's turn one. So... That is why I'm a big fan of his character. I think he's the best TUR right now, but uh, you could argue Topo, but he's not on global yet, so we are not going to be talking about him in today's video. So that is going to do it for the TURs on the list. Let's move to the LRs. And now, starting off our little LR list, we have STR Vegito. Now, I really like this character, but the biggest uh, hindrance to me is the beginning of the fight with this guy. You can't throw him in slot one. They have to be slot two. They need to stack up, and it does take a little bit to get to Vegito. And once you do get to Vegito, it really is kind of game over. You know, with the scouter and the damage that he's doing, the extra guard that he has now, this is a phenomenal easy A, and I'm a really big fan of how they did this character, especially if you're throwing him in an area where you know there's not going to be a super, and there's a bunch of normal attacks that are going to be coming down. This is going to be a character that's going to do a ton of damage off of crits from counters, and that is going to be very, very valuable for you. With the dodge and everything, not with the dodge, with the guard and everything like that, they really did kind of patch up the issues with this Vegito. Can he take a Cell Max Super to the face and be fine? No. Can he tank normals now and do what he needs to do? Yes. And that, I think, is a quality easy A for an LR, but he is not quite cracking the top four. But I think a top five unit on global right now is a pretty safe spot. So let's move on to number four, and that is going to be LR Piccolo. LR Piccolo, if you guys have been around my channel for a while, you know how I feel about this character. It really comes down to this orange form. Yes, he can still take away supers. Yes, he still takes away AoEs. Yes, he's still providing key support. <laughs> yes, he's guarding. Yes, he's getting pretty high defensive numbers. Yes, he's getting very high attack stats. Uh, very solid character. Good leader skill for the superheroes team, which is shortly going to be the best team in the game here uh, very, very soon. And you're also going to be able to run this guy to complement Beast Gohan here coming up as well. So unfortunately, with the ninth anniversary, he does shift down to about like the eight or nine range. But right now on global, I don't think there's too many units better than this character. So I'm going to put them at number four. And at number three, 
I've got our boy Boo Tanks into Buhan. And this is solely because of how good the Majin Power team has become. This is the best character on that team, and it is one of the best teams in the game. This version of Buhan right here, we'll just go over it before we move on, recovers 20% of the HP at the start of turn, so he's always healing. He's getting a guaranteed additional super attack for three turns for the character's entry turn. Very nice. He has dodge. He has guard. He has high attack and defense at the start of turn. Gets two additional super attacks. Uh, extra key per orb. We get an enemy disabling for five turns. So, or an action disable for the first five turns. This is a very solid character offensively and defensively. If you can seal the enemy, you can do that for five turns. And then we also get some extra stuff attack and then extra recovery when HP is 50% or less at the end of the turn. So this is a very, very, very good character. And I really believe that he is going to be, or he is one of the best in the game. And when he comes out on, when, you know, the beast reshift happens, this guy moves down again to that eight to 10 range, but still a solid character. So let's move to number two. It's going to be Gogeta, and that leaves only one character left for number one. I love Gogeta's taunt. I love his offensive abilities. I love his defensive abilities. He has guard. He has stacking. And then when you go into Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Gogeta, I think right now the big issue with this guy is that he is dodge or die. But when you have that taunt, you have guaranteed dodging and you are good to go. I'm sure you know exactly what this character is doing if you've been playing global and watching videos. So I'm not going to talk about it too much, but I love his offensive prowess. I love his defensive prowess. But to me, I think the most impressive character right now on global is LR Broly. If you want to argue with me on that, that's fine. <laughs> but I'm going to have him at number one. Is it because I got the gold slot on him in the summons? Maybe. But I think overall, this character is like one of the most impressive looking characters. And we have not gotten that content shift yet, right? The content has not shifted towards Beast Gohan. And Broly is just coming out here with his domain turn, spitting out 25 million attack stats, 17 million, 18 million, 19 million, 20 million supers after that, right? And he's just doing so much damage. It's like, you know, by the time the boss can even think, they're done, right? They've already taken four 20 million supers from this Broly. So offensively, I think he's doing a lot, you know, stacking his attack, the domain that he has, the way he works with a lot of the best characters in the game right now. He works very well with Super Saiyan Gogeta. He works on the Super Saiyan team. He works on his own team. He works on a lot of different teams. And then when Beast Gohan becomes an asset to the game, uh, he's going to be able to slide onto the Beast Gohan leader skill and move down a little bit. So there you have it. Uh, the top 10 units on global right now for me, in my opinion, as a JP main, these are my 10 top 10 best units in the game. Uh, let me know down below what you guys thought of this specific list. Uh, where would you move these characters? I really think about like one to five and then like six to 10 are all really interchangeable. I think like Vegito and, uh, you know, Piccolo are kind of like where I like the characters. But after that, you really kind of kind of didn't can do whatever. But if you did enjoy today's video, like I said, uh, leave a like, uh, subscribe if you are new and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my Dokkan content. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.